Hey everyone, Witchy Cat Lady here in Dragon Adventures. It is the Easter 2024 event, and I am here to give you a tutorial on how all of this works, as well as some additional things that might sneak in there, as always. Uh, the first thing you'll want to know is where the seasons or event incubators are, the speedy incubators. They're right here in the town, and here is your egg information with the three that are in it for week one. You have your Skyrix, your Falu, and the new Milby. This, again, is only week one. The other dragon, the snail, will be in week two, and I will show you the area that that is in here in just a little bit. We will stumble across it, and thanks to people in the Discord server who actually glitched in and saw the chest that will require some more of the keys. <laughs> One thing is you can count on this community to, you know, find the things we are not necessarily meant to find. But I am in here with Zach. We are figuring it all out. You can see him running around back there, and I'm sh pretty sure Mystic's in here somewhere. But if you want to know the information, you just go here and talk to this Oranga, and you can talk to it as many times as you need to find out the information. And I don't know what's going on with my time here. Let's um. Try to fix that real quick. If I fly up and away, will it uh, respawn? Oh, there we go. We've been experiencing a few little bugs and glitches in here, but right back here, we're going to go to the Oranga. And as you can see, we're going to go attack the infested beehives that are purple. And we will get honey pots and keys from them that we're going to use on these chests. These chests will require four keys, and they are cooperative. So working with others will actually be to everyone's benefit. And there is, of course, the Easter puzzles that you will have access to every single day. And I'll show you where there's, ooh, where those are in just a little bit. Sorry for the tongue tied. I am voicing over. But here is one of the infested beehives. And as you can see, we just attack it. And bees do come out to defend it, just like real bees. And the keys will pop up there on top. If it gives you more keys than you can hold, the key will stay there. You just go drop a key in a box and you can go back and pick up your key afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these two keys in here. And as you can see, I get some honey pots and a honey egg. And actually, this game is very generous on the eggs. There's been not really any issues. And if you want to see where the chests are more easily, you just go to those gazebos there and pay 75 honey pots to uh, visually see five of them from a farther distance at a time. The chests are all over the map and they have the same spawn points. So if you don't want to pay, you don't have to. They're everywhere, including down in some of these tunnels. The tunnels are all over the place. Some of them have a secret door to break down. Some of them do not. So here is your area to go to your daily puzzles. You can teleport in there. See all the little doors here. I've done the first one. The other option is to go into the big tree, which I think is really cool. I, I like stuff like this. It really adds into the fantasy element. But... The first door was here, which you paid one key to get in, and you go down through, and there's a chest there with some rewards, and your buildable egg will be over here on those uh, altar platforms, and then it'll show the time left for the next door that you can open with another key. And I'm assuming that's going to work like last Easter, where if you miss a day, then you can just, you know, go through that one to the current day. It doesn't look like you're going to get held behind. But here's a tree with all of its little things. Now, I am in a private server in this part of the video because, as some of y'all know, public servers do sometimes overwhelm me, and I was afraid of what the dragons would be like. I really didn't want to get a migraine. But I did find out that public server actually wasn't too bad. Um, by the way, there is a secret door back here on the back of the tree, and I'm going to use the camera to glitch in there a little bit. We, back when I found it, we're looking around. I haven't really looked at Discord to see if anybody else found it in their theories, but it looks like it's just part of the puzzles because there's a teleport thing, 
And this door opens in two days for some reason, back to outside. Not really sure what's going on with that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many other people found that. I'm sure quite a few did if they found some of the other things and glitched into the new part of the map. Which, by the way, is up around this way. The here is a little sus door. We cannot break it. We cannot do anything with it, but we can glitch through it. And you can see the other part of the world in here. And at some point in here, I will throw up a screenshot from the game images and Discord. I am going to block out the name of the person who put it in there just in case, you know, they're sensitive to that. But massive credit to them for putting that in there and credit to Zach for <laughs> finding it before I did. But we'll be able to see that the chests are going to cost more keys and that will be the second egg. And I'm assuming they're going to cost eight keys instead of four because these have more uh, legendary, epic, rarity dragons in it. It's going to have the bun, the bear. It's going to have the Aya, of course, will be your common. And then it's going to have the new snail dragon in it. So that one's probably going to be a little bit more of a grind. And as you can see here, the purple hives are all over the map, as well as some of the chests there. The hives do come at different um, health to attack. And there is a title down here for completing 30 of the tier 4 hives. And those are the ones that are going to have 7k health that you need to damage. And uh, spoiler in this video, I did not find one that was undamaged, but they're very, very large and they have 7,000 health. You really can't miss them. They're not going to be out on the main map, they're going to be down in some of these tunnels. They're absolutely enormous. You're going to want a good strong dragon like uh, the Costragula or the Syme, uh, maxed out preferably. The damage that the bees give you is um, buffed to your dragon's health, so that is a good thing, but it still takes a good bit to take it down. And when you're being attacked by the bees, it just makes it take even longer, it seems. But you also have your fishing areas here. I think there's two ponds that I found. And you can get your usual um, event currencies, eggs, event potions, things like that. We'll hop in here. Let's give one cast out and see what we get. And one thing I miss about the old fishing is that you could AFK it. We can't AFK this new fishing thing, which, I mean, it's not terrible. But now I have to actually sit here and click. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. I know why they did it. And I do prefer this over the other method because now I cannot lose anything. But uh, fishing is not going to be your best bet if you want to get honey pots. I found the best way to get honey pots is to do the beehives. Now, if you want free potions, free presets, then definitely do the fishing because you can re reel in all those Easter presets. I was just checking the chat there for a second. Okay, so down here in this big tunnel is one of the large hives. We have already completed this one. As you can see, it is quite large. It, you cannot mistake that this is not the tier four. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing 30 of those. That is kind of time consuming. But here I'm showing you uh, the stime. If you don't have a maxed out stime, why I chose it and it's Got really good health and everything. I did not choose my Costragula, even though the Costragula is better, because it is not as leveled up. So this one's just not as good. I'm going to have to get that leveled at some point. All right, I reset to get out of that cave because, oh my goodness. But when you come into Easter World to get to everything, you just come down that little tunnel from spawn. If you want, fly up there and take a cute look at that Easter basket. Well, it's a picnic basket, not an Easter basket. That's okay. I'm going to leave that little uh, stumble in there. But that was your accessory shop with all your things in it. And over here at the event store, you have all the other stuff. Your potions, your seeds, your flares. You can even buy the honey eggs for 500 uh, honey pots. So, hey, I, I guess if you want, if that's what you want to do. But I get a ton of eggs just doing the chest. 
uh, more than what I can really deal with. I'm constantly having to go back and incubate. But you also have your element potions in there and, you know, a plot. So I'm going to tell you right now, everybody always asks, what should I stock up on? What's going to cost? I mean, get some presets just because, you know, a big dragons looks nice for reselling. But get your element potions. People are always looking for the element potions from any event. That will be your money maker. Don't necessarily sell them during the event or right after. Hold on to those. People will want them usually in a few months after the event. And you can hold like 100 of those easy in your inventory. Um, here is your spin wheel, and it does reset every day. Here are the prizes that were on there for the first day. Um, it only costs 10 honey pots to spin it, which is not bad. And as you can see, the deer dragon is on there. I'm going to assume that the bun and it will rotate out. So if this week one, if you want that uh, Vesuvius, if I said that correctly, you can try getting it off the spin wheel. And again, here is your honey egg with the dragons on it in case you wanted to see that. So let's see if these incubators are ready. They are not. Okay, let's see if these incubators in my plot already demon raptor you're in the way there okay the note but i have nothing in the incubators but i'm going to go ahead and put some eggs in here and i will come back to these at this point in the video i hadn't hatched a whole lot but we'll be hatching them throughout so hold tight all right we are back to check on these eggs let's see what we get Let's play the game of count the Skyrix that we're going to be deleting. <laughs> I honestly wish that some of these events grew up faster, especially now that they're breedable. It just takes so long to grow some of them up. And I am not using a grow potion on something I plan to delete. That's just not, that's just not happening. All right, let's head back to the event world and see how those eggs are doing. All right, here we go. All five of you. And at this point, I am now in a public server. And as you can see, it's actually not too bad in here. The dragons with the insane cosmetics and particles are actually not the best to use for this kind of event because we need good health to battle the beehives. And here is the new bee dragon, the Myla bee. That's actually really cute colors. I like that one. And there are little chests around. Make sure to grab those. Looks like they reset. Um, every day or so. Excuse me while I fly past the spin wheel. I think, who almost hit it. We're going to go down here. We're going to grab a few keys here in the public server. The only trouble I had with public servers was finding some of the beehives to destroy because so many people were, you know, destroying them. But they're out there and they do reset at a pretty decent uh, speed. So it wasn't awful. And here I'm waiting for that person to attack it. They kept switching dragons. I wasn't really sure what they were doing. So I just went on in and killed the beehive. Let's go find a chest. Oh, I'll grab another beehive real quick, get another key. But hopefully if I left the clips in here, you'll see in here just how cooperative this event is with the chest because more than one person can put keys in on the chest. So if two, three, or four people have put a key in on the chest when it's complete, then every single player who put in a key will get the same rewards. Everybody will get an egg and some honey pots. And I really like that. It's very much like the uh, chest in the galaxy event. See there? I only had to put in some of the keys and I still got plenty of rewards. So here is one of the hidden walls. This one is purple. And these little pentacles. Uh, we're pretty sure that this is tied into the Shadow Altar lore, and I love it because I know that they were looking to add tentacles to the Shadow Altar activity. I really hope they do because it's just waiting is just kind of boring. I like to have something else to do. I usually use that time if I'm at the altar to grind mobs to level something up. And don't forget, uh, chests can spawn in this tree. There's all kinds of little ledges up here so let's put this key in here and did i go ahead and put the second one in i did yes i did oh i helped the honeypot somebody closed up 
or opened up a chest that I had put a key in and the eggs came right to me. So you don't have to go down and find the chest when somebody completes it. Here is one of the larger hives. It looks like a tier three, I think. And look at that. Oh, I got the Shadow Cleanser title. Uh, let me fix up Demon Raptor real quick. You need food so you can heal yourself, buddy. Good gracious. But the Shadow Cleanser, do I go ahead and equip it? Yes, I do, thankfully. Uh, where are you? Up, 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 up. Where'd it go? Where is it? There it is. Uh, you cleanse 30 of the beehives. That one's pretty easy to get. That, that other one for the 30 tier 4s is good. a little bit more of a grind. I know some people are cooperating with each other to get it. Now I'm just taking a little peek at some of the other titles in there just to see if there's anything else related to this event. I think it's just these couple of them. All right. So here again is the gazebo to show some chests. 75 honey pots for five at a time, which I really like. Some of them I do find on my own, but I kind of like having a little mark on it so I know exactly where to go. Okay, so we pay to open up our speedy incubators. The most expensive one is only 300. It starts down as low as 100. So let's go ahead and put these in here. And I will come back and hatch these in a moment. Okay, it is time to hatch. There's Skyrix everywhere. I got it. I got the bee, guys. Oh my gosh, finally. And it's a cute one. It's gray. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's definitely uh, going to need a grow potion. I am not. I am not raising this thing up. I want my bee. So let's head down to Origins and grab a grow potion uh, really fast. I'm just telling everybody I'll be right back. I've got uh, my kid and a friend in the server, so I can rejoin pretty quickly. All right, I've gotten the grow potion, grown it up. Got my monotone bee here coming back to show everybody. All right, back down to the incubator area. Come on, little bee. You're so cute. So what do you guys think of the bee? How do you like this event? Let me know in the comments as we take a nice little peek at it here. It's so cute. It actually looks like a moth. And this person here does end up saying it looks kind of like a moth and a bee. And I do end up naming it Moth Bee. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video has helped some of you all. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in game or another video. Bye.